Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland. Struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Every year, hundreds of acres of good black topsoil are washed into the many rivers in our country. Why? Well, that's an easy answer. This washing away of the topsoil is caused by lack of soil erosion control. Soil erosion is the result of careless farming and range management. How's it stopped? That's a tough question, and I'm not going to try to answer it. We'll leave that up to Bill and his rangers. Here's the story of... The Muddy River. Where's Dad, Sam? I don't know, Mike. He was out in the barn when the storm broke. Oh, it's been storming for an hour. I wonder where he is. Oh, he'll show up in a few minutes. Oh, I hope so. I'm getting worried. Well, what did I tell you? Here he is. Where you been, Dad? Hey, boys. Mike was getting worried about you. What's the matter, Pop? You don't look very cheerful. Not only that, but you're soaking wet. I've been watching the muddy river. Is that a new river? Never heard of it. <laughs> oh, what would I do without your humor, Mike? No, son, that's not a new river. I'm talking about the Shady River. Oh, uh, what, what were you watching that for? Yeah, it's the same as it's always been, isn't it? Yes, it's the same. I was watching our farm wash into it. Dad, what in the world are you talking about? Soil erosion, son. Every time we have a heavy rain, a ton of topsoil washes into the shady river. You mean our farm's gradually washing away? That's right, Mike. Washing away. That's why the shady river's so muddy. Then it's happening to other farms and ranches, too. That's right. Isn't that why Senator Baxter is trying to get a dam built across the river? Yes, but what good is a dam going to do? How can that stop soil erosion? What do you mean? The only way it can stop soil erosion is to stop the rain. conclusion, I will say this. With the offer of federal aid at hand, we need to build a dam on the Shady River immediately. Now, this is the only way soil erosion can be controlled along the Shady River Valley. This dam will control the floodwaters from heavy rains, stop the washing away of your farms and ranches. I'm returning to the state capital. In the morning, I'll persuade the legislature to pass the bill to accept federal aid and provide the necessary funds for this dam. Then soil erosion along the Shady River Valley will stop. Well, fellas, what do you think about Baxter and his idea? I don't think much of it. No, I agree, Henry. I still don't understand how Baxter intends to stop erosion with a dam. Mm, me either. It doesn't make sense. Well, tell Baxter is just a youngster. You better watch your step or he'll never get back for another term. Ah, maybe you're right, Stumpy. I think soil erosion not the problem. Perhaps you're right, Grey Wolf. We've got our government ranges and forests under soil erosion control. But I wonder... You wonder what, Bill? I wonder what's behind the building of the dam. Or I should say, who's behind it? Senator, how'd the farmers and rangers react to your speech about the dam? Remarkably well, Mr. Harlan. 
And I'm quite sure that the dam will go through and you men can purchase the power rights. That's fine. With the farmers and ranchers in the valley backing this bill, the legislature will pass it. And then we can get cheaper power and get back on our feet again financially. Yes, perhaps the power companies in this state can begin to show a profit at the end of the year rather than a loss. Well, Senator, we surely appreciate your help. Well, that's quite all right, gentlemen. I'm always glad to help business whenever I can. What about the soil erosion? Oh, we're safe there. As I told the farmers, the dam will control floodwaters in the Shady River. I just hope there isn't a hitch in this before the bill is passed. And how can there be? As far as I know, nobody knows that the power companies are pushing the construction of this dam. Don, I don't see how the dam's going to control erosion. Don't be so bullheaded, Wayne. If the senator says it will, that's good enough for me. Well, how are you going to control erosion from heavy rain? Well, the dam will keep the Shady River from going over its banks. Oh, nonsense. How often does it flood? Uh, that's right, Wayne. How often does it flood? Now, um, let me ask you. question. Now, you're being Mark. bullheaded. Answer our question. Who's bullheaded? Don't go calling me names. Hey, now, now, now. Take it easy, fellas. Uh, why don't you fellas stop arguing? I think Senator Baxter is right. Well, think what you want. But when your taxes are raised to pay for the new dam, don't come around here complaining. Say there, young feller, the whole town's head up about this new dam. Yeah, I've heard a lot of discussion. Pro and con. I don't think all the men were behind the idea. What do you mean, Bill? Well, all the farmers and ranchers in the Shady River Valley aren't gullible, Grey Wolf. Uh, you're right. Some can think for themselves. Exactly. Well, this doesn't have anything to do with us, Bill. Doesn't it? No, I don't think so. I agree with Henry, Bill. This isn't our fight. Uh, maybe fellow's right, Bill. Now, listen to me. If all of the men don't want this dam... And why is the senator so sure he can get the bill passed? Well, you mean he's got somebody big backing him up? Yes. Somebody big and powerful. One person? Not likely, pal. It's probably a group of men. But we can't act in an official capacity, young feller. No, that's right, Stumpy. Uh, how you plan to get into a picture, Bill? As private citizen Bill Jefferson. Well, where are you going to start first? At the Shady River. the other bank, pal. Okay, Bill. I think we'll find most of the erosion over there. Ah, uh, do not joke. River get plenty muddy on this side. Yes, yeah, almost looks like the Missouri. You want me to cut the motor and drift, Bill? Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, pal. Why? look at those gullies leading to the river. Pretty bad, aren't they? Uh, when it yeah. rain, heavy there, much topsoil washed down. These farms and ranches are washing into the river. Ah. Uh. In 50 years, Shady River be two miles wide. I think this is a serious matter, fellas. Yeah, I agree uh. with you now, Bill. Boy, I didn't think it was this bad. Well, it ain't no joke, that's for certain. There's another thing for certain, old-timer. Now, what's that, sonny? If 50 dams were built on the river, they couldn't stop this soil washing. Well, I say they wouldn't. Should we go back across the river, Bill? Yes, pal, I've seen enough. What you plan to do about this, Bill? I don't know yet, Grey Wolf. I'll have to do some thinking. Yeah, and whatever thinking you do will have to be as ordinary citizen, Bill Jefferson. Ben, we're sure glad you brought up the subject. Uh, soil erosion is the main thinking in my mind right now. You have an ominous tone in that remark, Ben. If you'd have been out to my place the day of the heavy rainstorm, you'd be ominous too, uh, Ed. Was it that bad in your place, Ben? 
We now say that I watched a couple of tons of topsoil wash off my land. Are you joking? I was never more serious in my life. What are we going to do, Ben? This dam that Baxter wants built ain't going to stop soil erosion. He's just a young fella from the city who don't know the score. You can say that again, Ed. I've never heard of such a foolish idea in all my life. Well, Baxter's got strong support, Ben. Then we'll fight it, Wayne. That money should be spent on erosion control. Well, that's what I try to tell the boys. The river only floods uh, a week in the spring, and it isn't bad either. But uh, how are we going to uh, uh, st- oppose Baxter's supporters? I know just the man who might have the answer. Well, who's that, Ben? Bill Jefferson. Oh, that's a good idea, Ben. He's fought erosion on government well, lands. Well, hold it, boys. Can a government ranger help us? Maybe not physically, but we can get some ideas from him. Well, sure, why not? Let's go talk to Bill. Baxter, some of my men working around Naughty Pine tell me that uh, feelings are pretty high about the construction of this dam. What do you mean, Mr. Harlan? I haven't heard a word. Well, I hear that there's an opposition group gaining momentum by the day. Hmm. I'll have to check into that. You'd better do more than that, Baxter. No, there's nothing to worry about, Mr. Sharp. I'm not so sure about that. A strong minority group could force the issue to be put on a state ballot. That would be very bad. There's nothing to worry about, gentlemen. The bill comes before the House Monday. It's already passed committee. But they'll railroad it through. How can you be sure of that? I have enough friends in the House, Mr. Harlan. I hope you're right, Senator, for your sake. Huh? What do you mean? I mean that if you fail, you'll lose our support. The support of all the power companies in the state. Your budding career will be ended. Well, now you know how we feel, Bill. Yeah, building the dam would be a waste of time and money. Time and money that could be used for better purposes. Yes, I understand how you feel, gentlemen. I'm glad to know there are some thinking men in this part of the country. Well, there are more of us that want to oppose this bill. Where are they? Perhaps they're reluctant to speak because they think they stand alone. Uh, Bill, uh, will you answer one question? Or maybe I should say two. Yes, of course, Ed. Be glad to. Uh, Do we need the dam, in your opinion? No, we don't. Uh, Now, uh, you're experienced in soil control. Uh, Can we control erosion uh, on our own individual farms by ourselves? Yes, Ed, you can. Uh, That's fine. Now for the $64 question, Bill. All right, fire away, Ben. Can you and will you help us? Let me ask a question. Well, sure, Bill, go ahead. Would you hire a soil conservation expert? Well, sure, but uh, I don't uh, understand, Bill. Well, it's this way, Ed. If I'm to help you folks, I'll have to do it as an ordinary citizen. Now, I have a vacation coming. If I take a leave of absence instead... Would you hire me as a consultant on this problem? Why, well, sure, we'll hire you as a consultant. We'll draw up a contract after you've gotten the opposition together and formed a committee. My fee will be one dollar. One dollar? Is that all? I don't understand, Bill. Here's the story, gentlemen. I don't want anybody to be able to say that I'm swinging my weight as a ranger in this situation. You know, that's a wise move, Bill. Also, I'll be on leave of absence, so it can't be said I'm working for Uncle Sam. Oh, I see your point. Now, after I clear my action with my superiors, I'll be Bill Jefferson, ordinary citizen. Also, I'm a property owner here in Naughty Pine. That sounds good, Bill. Now, what do you want us to do? Get those who oppose the construction of the dam together and elect a committee to act for the group. And let me know your decision. Hey, 
Hey, Bill, where are we going in such a hurry? Over to the high school auditorium. Baxter? Yeah. He came all the way up from the Capitol to try to strengthen his position. I'd like to hear what Ben, Wayne, Ned, and the other boys are going to say. Hey, there's a school ahead. Oh, look at the crowd. Yeah. What do you say we join them? finish my short and pointed speech, I'll be glad to answer any questions. Mr. Senator. Uh Uh-oh. Ben's going after him. Yes, sir. You have a question? I do. How is this new dam going to control the real erosion problem? The real problem? Why, uh, the erosion that the floods cause will be cared for. The dam will fix that. Is that right? What about erosion from heavy rains? That's the real problem. Well, I don't see any problem there, my good man. No, I didn't expect you would. I suppose you'd suggest we build a tent over our farms and ranches. (laughs) Uh, Mr. Baxter, uh, Mr. Baxter, I have a question. Yes, I'm listening. Give it to him, Ed. Who's going to pay for this new dam? Yes, that's right. Well, the state has funds set aside for this new construction. Plus, of course, uh, federal aid. Is that so? Well, I happen to know that the state funds are only adequate to start the construction. Mm. The rest of the money will be raised by special assignment on all the farms and ranches in Shady River Valley. What do you think of that? Yes. You must have been misinformed, my friend. But I'll inquire about the funds. Yeah. Now, uh, I have to leave, gentlemen. Good evening. Well, we got him on the run, Bill. And now we're calling a meeting of the opposition group. When, Ben? Ten o'clock in the morning at my place. You'll be there? Yes, I'll be there. Well, Baxter, how'd you make out? Not too good. Somebody's leading the opposition group. What do you mean, Baxter? Uh, Just this, Mr. Sharp. I thought we could put the bill through quietly. The opposition's been silent until now, but yesterday they began to speak, and with strong, positive tones. Mm, Well, that's bad. If they got strong enough, they could kill a floor vote on the bill. We've got to find out who the leader of this opposition is. Yes. And then we got to win him over to our side. Not we, Baxter. You. Ben and I were elected to act as the committee, Bill. Well, that's fine, Wayne. We won't have to rehash what's already happened. What's your plan, Bill? Yeah, what can we do to get the ball rolling? Well, the bill comes up before the House Monday morning. We've got to stop a vote from the floor. Now, how can we do that? Get everybody you know to send letters and telegrams to Baxter, disapproving of the bill. Ask for a state ballot. Now, you three fellas be at the Capitol Monday morning when the state legislature opens session. Block a floor vote. Then tell Baxter I've been hired as your consultant. What are you going to do in the meantime, Bill? I'm going to begin a little project of my own, Ben. Huh? I I don't understand. Baxter's next move will be to call on me. When he does, I'll be ready for him. The first bill on the agenda of the steering committee is Senator Baxter's bill for the construction of an erosion control dam in the Shady River Valley. The floor is open for discussion. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Senator Baxter. I would like my bill to return to committee. Uh, Some extenuating circumstances have arisen. Oh? Well, very well, Senator Baxter. I'll instruct the steering committee to return the bill to you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Baxter, are you out of your mind? What's gotten into you, Senator? Uh, Mr. Harlan, Mr. Sharp, just a minute. <laughs> well? Uh, when I arrived this morning, I found opposition had really arisen. Now, my place has been flooded with telegrams. Ranchers and farmers have been talking with other senators. And then I found out who's leading the opposition. Who? Ranger Bill Jefferson. Jefferson? How do you get into the picture? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Jefferson, you've got a lot of nerve button into this affair. How do you figure that, Baxter? You're a federal officer. How can you interfere? I'm afraid you're misinformed. If you'll check with my superiors, you'll find that I'm on leave of absence. But I don't believe it. That's beside the point. I'm also gainfully employed by the opposition group to determine whether the dam will stop soil erosion. That I know. Yes, I suppose you do. Now, what do you plan to do? Prove that soil erosion is a matter of each farmer and rancher employing proper techniques. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Senator, I know you're in a spot. Perhaps I can help you. Huh? It, are you joking, Jefferson? No, I'm not. But, but well, I, I thought you'd be out to get me, to disgrace me from office. Senator, I'm never out to get any man. I'm a Christian. Yes, I guess you are. Mr. Baxter, I wasn't born yesterday. Who's pushing you on the construction of the new dam? You're really willing to help me, aren't you? I am, if you'll give me the truth. Even though I got myself on the spot? We all make mistakes, Senator, especially me. I believe you. I'll answer your question. Now, who's the lobby group behind you? The power companies of this state. They want the dam built so they can get power rights. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. You're a shrewd man, Mr. Jefferson. Senator, I think I can sell this lobby group on relocating the site for the dam. You can do that? Yes, I think so. Give me a week's time and I'll be ready. Hmm, Mr. Jefferson, if you can help me out of this mess, I... Well, I'll be deeply indebted to you for the rest of my life. Oh, this board fits in here just right, Bill. That's fine, pal. Uh, mail it in, will you? Mm, will do. Uh, Stumpy, are you ready with the piece of pipe? Yep, I sure am, sonny. All right, let's fit it and put a pipe wrench to it. I can manage it all alone. Okay. If you need help, say so. Uh, Gray Wolf, let's start applying the plastic paste. Uh, okay, Bill. This looked plenty good when finished. Bill, you think this project convinced men they should change sight of dam? Well, with the Lord's help, it will, Gray Wolf. There's a man's reputation at stake because he got himself in a tight spot. I'm trusting the Lord to help me get him out. This is Bill Jefferson, Senator. Well, am I glad to hear your voice, Bill. Is everything set? Yes. Can you be here first thing in the morning? I can be there in three hours, if you say so. When should Mr. Harlan and Mr. Sharp be at your home? Well, if they come at noon, that'll give us time to be prepared. They'll be there. Their curiosity has got them. Good. See you in the morning. I'll be there. Ben, this is Bill. Yes, Bill. How are things coming? Fine. Uh, there's a meeting at my house at noon tomorrow. The boys and I'll be there. Good. See you then. You said it.
Gentlemen, I've asked you all here to look at these models. Uh, Senator Baxter will give you the fine details. This is an excellent model of the Shady River Valley. Yes, but what's the purpose of all these pipes over the model? Yeah, Mr. Sharp, Mr. Harlan, if you watch closely, I'll show you. We're listening, Baxter. And now you'll notice that a model dam has been built across the Shady River. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, when I open the faucet and let the water flow into the river, the dam stops the water all right. Boy, that works pretty good. Mm-hmm. But now I'll open the gate in the dam and let the water out. <laughs> that flood of water didn't do nothing but a little bit of damage to the topsoil along the river. I, uh, I, I guess you're right. Now I'll turn on the water so it can run through the pipes over the model. Watch the topsoil wash away. <laughs> Now, gentlemen, you can see the real problem we face. You tell them, Ben. Well, it didn't take long for the topsoil to wash away. Gentlemen, I think we can see the problem clearly. The proposed dam wouldn't do a bit of good as far as soil conservation is concerned. Well, that's obvious, Baxter. Now, my alternate proposal is that I ask the state legislature to approve the construction of a power dam up here in the Shady Mountains. Why didn't we think of that before, Harlan? You mean you're in favor of that, Mr. Sharp? Precisely. Come to think of it, there's better power advantage, and we won't rile folks in this valley by extra taxes. Baxter, you've had a brainstorm. Thank you, sir. This dam can be constructed at a third of the cost. Look, at this point, there's a natural spot for a dam. And with costs cut, the state ought to be able to match federal spending without additional taxes. Do you approve, Mr. Harlan? Yes, yes, of course. It looks exceptionally practical. And the construction time will be shorter. You can get this passed through the house? Yes, without a doubt. Uh, then we'll head back to our office and start drawing plans. Baxter, you handle this nicely. Gentlemen, I'm indebted to Bill, and I owe you all an apology. I made a mistake in judgment. Save it, Senator. I wouldn't have your job for all the money in the world. <laughs> well, that's right, Senator. Who can please everybody? The fact that you're humble enough to admit your mistake is proof enough to me that you're a man. The man we want in office, and... Well, as for me, I'll support you for your second term. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I shall see to it that you get all the help and instruction you need to stop soil erosion on your farms and ranches. And that goes for the whole valley. We'll deeply appreciate that, Senator. Bill, uh, I owe you a debt of gratitude. You, you don't have to tell me you're a Christian. I know it. I'm glad I could help, Senator. And I'm happy that the work of the Rangers has a Christian flavor. And I still don't understand why you didn't try to run me down when I was so careless about the needs of the farmers and the ranchers. Senator Baxter, my answer is found in the words of the Bible. Pray for them that persecute you and overcome evil with good. Thanks, Rangers, for your story about the Muddy River. See you next week for more adventure with Ranger!